after watching the amount of stuff that Moontoon has been putting out in the previous months, you must be wondering. Moontoon is done with all the updates, right? Well, my friend, you are wrong. How? Well, Moontoon has released three more games changing feature that I'm sure everyone will be using from now on. What are they? Let's get straight into it to find out. Hi guys, Kazuki here and in this video we are going to discuss the new score system, the all new resource management feature and the new recruitment feature. Let's start off with the new score system. The new score system is here with all the new revamped look. Even the design outside the score has also received a new revamped look. The new score interface is now divided into 4 segments instead of 3. Let's go through each segment and look at what all it offers. The first segment is My Score. This segment contains the score details, which is this section, then the score avatar, where you can go in and change the score avatar, which everyone always wanted. You can unlock more avatars as you level up your score. There is also this section where you can pre-register for MCL with your score for every week. And you can see all the rewards you get from here as you level up, you unlock more rewards. Now let's check out all the privileges you get from leveling up in this code. In level 1 you get scored avatars. In level 2 you get scored prefixes and scored avatars. In level 3, you get extra protection points in ranked matches if you play with your squad. In level 4, you increase your squad size by 1. In level 5, you unlock all these avatars. In level 6, you again increase your squad size. In level 7, unlock more squad avatars. In level 8, you increase your maximum squad size by 2. In level 9, you unlock more squad avatars. And finally, at level 10, you get this advanced prefix with a cool animation, plus the squad size increases by 2. To get all these rewards, you need to complete squad task. So now let's take a look at all the new squad task section. This is the all new squad task section, and here you can see all the squad tasks. You can also see the score level here. Along with all the weekly tasks, these are the all new score tasks. This seems pretty easy, so don't miss out on them. And here are the rewards for all the tasks. They don't seem that enticing. With that covered, let's move on to the score statistics section. Note that many changes here except the new revamped look and looks 4 to 5 times better. Next we have the application segment where you can see all the applicants for your squad. Nothing changed here except the fresh look. And finally we have the squad management section. This segment is now split into two before it was just one. In this place you can choose between ranks whereas before you just had a drop down for this. In the next part, in the score management section, we have member details, where you can see the activity, how many MVPs the player have received this season and how many MCL champions and contenders they have. This new revamped score system certainly makes it more rewarding for all the scores that grind hard every day. I am pretty sure we are going to see a lot more sweaty scores in MCL and Mythic. Now let's check out another new addition to ML, the resource management system. The new resource management system is implemented for people with low-end devices so the game performs well. Before you had to download everything and couldn't delete anything but now you can download the resources you feel which is needed to save space and improve your mobile performance. 
Now the resources are divided into three segments: necessary, advanced, and ultra. Necessary now contains resources necessary for better basic features. If you are on an extremely low end phone, I recommend you just download this and pause the download from here. The next segment is the advanced section and in this segment we have mage and hero entrance resource. You can download if you have entry level phone to a mid range phone. And you really want to see all the juicy skins that you have. Finally we have the biggest section the ultra section. This segment has resources such as these. You can download this segment if you have a phone that has more space and your phone can handle it. You can also delete the resource which you don't need from this segment, which is a nice addition. The previous one was divided into too many sections and you couldn't delete everything except the arcade and regional voices. But now we have the option to delete resources in the ultra section. Before you could find the resources here. But now you can find them in the settings. And the new resource management is much more condensed and just looks more manageable. And now you can understand what you are downloading because of the images. But previously it was just a list. Being able to delete stuff you don't need is great and it being organized is also great. Now let's move on to another new feature which is none other than the new squad recruitment feature. With the latest patch we saw this gating implemented. The new recruitment can be found here now and this feature for sure is going to be super useful for all those who are tired of playing solo and are looking for a squad. There is also a new recruitment lobby feature where you can find all the lobbies that are active. And wait, there are so many options you can choose from. so that you can finally play as what you want. This feature is going to be super useful, especially if you are trying to complete all the play with friends task for events. This feature might even end your loneliness. Who knows, you just open the game and start trying. So guys, what are your thoughts on these two new game changing feature? Which one will you be using more? Will you also be grinding hard? with your score to secure that animated prefix. Comment down all your answers in the comment section below. So that will be all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Keep supporting Kazuki Official.